Hi, Coco here. Today I'll be teaching you how to make nail polish bottle cap art. Over here, I have some examples. As you can see all the examples here. Today I'll be teaching you how to make the writing and put gemstones on the bottle cap. You will need tweezers, nail polish remover, some cotton balls, toothpicks or q-tips if needed, and scissors if you're using one of those. Gemstones. You don't have to include gemstones, but I think they give a nice sparkle to it. Of course you can put glitter as a clear, clear glitter, but anyway, if you want gemstones, I would use sticky back gemstones that have sticky stuff on the back, like glue dots, so they stick onto it, and they don't show. If you're one of those people who like stencils, instead of gemstones, follow the same instructions, but use a stencil. There's other forms of nail polish too. You can use them for making paperweights out of something as a rock. Or you could use it as a glass. Glass makes everything really shiny and pretty too. I will be using these colors. You will need some sort of clear or clear glitter. It's for the top coat. Also, for writing, either you can use a thin, really thin or fine brush that's part of the nail polish bottle, or a nail polish art pen. Nail art pens, as they're called, sorry, have like a pen like on the tip and you squeeze it and you know it would come out. On the bottom it's a normal just brush. If you don't want, like those or do not do not have one I'd recommend not doing any writing. It can turn out kind of sloppy or floppy. Yes, it is awesome, but you could find these at the dollar store. So, anywhere pretty much has them. Okay, let's get started. Now that I've shaken up my nail polish, I'm going to start and apply it to the bottle cap. See how this is extra thin? This is the special type of nail polish brush that I was talking about. Now for your certain nail polish, you may need more coats than others. But basically you just want to cover up the whole entire bottle cap. And then you have to let it dry, of course, until you can put your next design. People have their own way of nail polish, but mine is to use thin strokes. So, once you cover up the entire nail polish, or bottle cap, with nail polish, I'll see you when you're done. Now that I've covered up the entire bottle cap, you're going to want to Keep it out to dry. If you do not like your color, you can use nail polish remover. And if you want to keep the same, you're going to have to wait a while. Now that it's mostly dry, you may have a different color going. If this is how you want to keep it, just one base color, you may want to skip ahead of the video to go to the part with the gemstones. Or if you're done from here, 
you're going to want to apply clear coat or clear glitter. I'm going to begin adding my polka dots to my bottle cap. I'm going to be using white. You may have a different color. That's fine. Now, if you want stripes, polka dots, whatever you may want, you may choose anything for your bottle cap. It's almost like exactly like painting your nails, except it's a bigger range, and you don't have to worry about painting if you're light, left or right-handed. You don't have to have that weird feeling when you're painting the other. So now that I'm done with my polka dots, I'm going to wait for them to dry. Because after this, I'm going to begin adding my gemstones and then words. I'll see you when it's dry. Now, here comes the harder part. After it's partly almost dried, you want it just to be a little bit sticky so you could add the gemstone. If it has no backing like a glue dot sticky, you're going to want to do it halfway through drying with this layer. I'm going to be using a black gemstone. These are when the tweezers come in handy. Now this is the most tricky part. I say of this whole thing because you got to direct the tweezers right where you want it to be. And I I gotta do it again. See, it's the tricky part. Wasn't that about that. Okay, try this one more time. Sorry, tweezers aren't really my thing. Okay. Get it this time. And voila! Got it right on my dot. Adjust it how you want it. And there you go. That's how you apply a gemstone. Now, if all you want is a gemstone and no writing whatsoever, what you are going to need is your clear coat. I'm still going to be showing you how to write on this, so I will not be needing that. What I mean is a sparkle coat is something like these. These are sparkle but clear. Other colors, sparkles, I would not use are these. They're sparkle, but they're pink. Well, not just the pink, but how it is. Compared to this, these are clear and sparkle, and this is just pink. Like, it has pink coloring and sparkles. So it makes your design all pink. This just makes the glitter pink. Of course, this is like a brownish. So, while I wait for 